This video is about using Google Read and Write to annotate a PDF that's in your Google Drive. I have a PDF right here. Make sure your PDF is in your Google Drive. Double click it to open it. And then we get options up here, what we're gonna to use to open that document. I'm choosing Read and Write for Google Chrome. And at this point, it may prompt you to install the Chrome extension Text Help PDF Reader. Go ahead and do that. And what you're gonna do then is you'll notice you have a toolbar at the top of your PDF with some tools. We have a freehand drawing tool that you can use. You can select the color you'd like to use and the thickness of that line, and then you can go ahead and circle important things, draw arrows to important things, and use that to annotate your text. The highlight tool allows you to highlight some of that text and then attach a comment. You can type in that comment. You can use talk and type. You can use voice notes. Or you can simply type in there, and when you're done, all of those things, click on comment for that comment to be attached to that highlight. We can use the push pin tool. I'm going to push pin up here on collaboration. And again, I can use the different tools to make some notes here, to maybe note some strengths and some next steps for my student and click on the check mark to add that. The students will need to know that that push pin does have a note attached to it. So you'll have to direct them to have a look at any push pins on their page. When you're done, all of these notes will now be attached to your PDF. If you then share your annotated PDF through Google back to your student and they open it up. So now I'm in a student's view. This is actually my daughter's account. And so if we open up the same annotated PDF from her Google Drive, if she also selects open with Google Read and Write, she can now see all of the annotations I have put on her work. If she clicks on a highlight, she will see that there's a comment over here connected to that highlight. If she clicks on the push pin, she will see the note that I left for her on that push pin. And if she would like to, she can now add some annotations. And because the document is shared with me, I will see her notes back to me. The other way that you can share your annotated PDF with your student is to print it as a PDF. And you'll notice down here, we have the print icon. When I click on that, I get the option to select a printer or to save as PDF under destination. So when I click save as PDF, that will save a PDF version with those annotations to share with your student via email. But I want you to notice that the only annotations we see are from the freehand drawing tool and from the typewriter tool. The annotations from the push pin and from the highlighting have disappeared. So now you click save and you can give a name to that document and save it in a good place and you're ready to attach that to your email.